New York City Marathon, of course, just two days away now. Yes, very exciting. This Sunday, I'll be one of 50,000 runners looking across the finish line in Central Park. I've been on this journey for several months, training almost every day with the help of the New York Road Runners. Prior to my training, I got to tell you, I never ran a mile outside, but it was always a goal of mine to one day take on a marathon. As a cancer survivor, I know the mindset of those who are fighting every day to regain control of their health and their bodies, and that's what led me to meet Lottie Nishan, a fellow survivor now empowering others through her passion for cooking. If you're showing up to the start line of a marathon, you have a bigger story than I just want to run a marathon. For Lottie Michon, that story begins in high school, the year 2008. That's when she found a lump on her neck. We were diagnosed with the same cancer, Hodgkin's lymphoma. I was diagnosed at 23, but you were diagnosed much younger at 14. How do you even process the news? It felt like a death sentence. When you hear cancer, that's what you think of. And I think that's why I was so motivated after being diagnosed with cancer, showing people that this is, doesn't mean that your life is over and you could still live a full, beautiful life. And since then, Lottie has taken her survivorship to new heights. She conquered one of the most physically challenging things a person can do, the Ironman, a triathlon made up of a 2.4 mile swim, a 112 mile bike ride, and a 26.2 mile marathon. I remember doing my Ironman and just like couldn't believe that 10 years ago, I couldn't even get out of bed. She pushed herself, her mind and her body, eventually also running the Boston Marathon and the New York City Marathon, not once, but twice. After I was diagnosed, I started to run. And when I started to run, I started to look at what I was eating. As a child having chemo and radiation, I didn't have a choice of what I was putting in my body. I had to take these medications. And now I wanted to be empowered by the choices I was making in terms of food and my diet. So now she's sharing that knowledge and her love of the kitchen through her cookbook, Running on Veggies. So I'm running the New York City Marathon for the first time this year. Um, show me a recipe, a smoothie that I can make for after the run. I'm going to show you how to make an anti-inflammatory smoothie. There's a window of time after a workout that you want to make sure that you're getting in protein and carbs. Cheers and it's 30 to 40 minutes after a run. Focusing on the science behind food and nutritious meals that leave you feeling energized. Her Instagram page gaining a cult following. It all starts with the jammy eggs and then I grab a long flat plate and then some small ceramic bowls to add some dimension to the board. Creating a healthy lifestyle for herself after cancer and motivating others to do the same. So we show up prepared, we train, and that's the way I wanna show up to life. Proving that with one step in front of another, you can overcome the odds no matter how big the obstacle. For me, that starts in the kitchen. She's amazing, and you hear all of these inspirational stories in the marathon. Yeah, the power too. of diet and exercise. Absolutely. Can't hear that story enough for sure.